Greetings and welcome back to the west side of Los Angeles, to the Pacific Palisades to be specific, and this pocket is known as Rustic Canyon, arguably the nicest part of the Pacific Palisades. Behind me you see a 15,000 plus brand new build in the style of the Hamptons. This is a glorious achievement on a sprawling lot of over one acre. Currently on the market for $27 million, it has seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms and a fabulous guest house to boot. So without further ado, come with me as we take a wonderful journey at 14330 West Sunset Boulevard. The journey begins as we enter the property via a private walkway beneath this oversized magnificent guest house, which creates a natural barrier from the inner courtyard and the street. The first thing that jumps out to me with this property is the craftsmanship. The detail that has gone into building this home from ground up, including these wonderful casement doors, that bring me into a foyer, a reception area that is so grand, I feel like I'm in a five-star hotel. Every angle has something new and exciting for me to look at, and it feels like I'm standing literally in the beating heart of the home with all of these various sections that I can wander into, each with a different narrative. The first area we're going to explore is this wonderful formal sitting room, which is bathed in natural light. A place to meet your guests, maybe have that first cocktail, share a story by the fire, or perhaps it could be the first port of call after a long day of work. So just sit and decompress. The journey continues as I leave the reception areas and I met by the most wonderful formal dining room. Once again, bathed in natural light. This dining room is formal enough for the finest of dinners, yet still intimate. And the floor to ceiling windows are something extra special in this room. As is the bar, which contains everything you can imagine to make the most sumptuous cocktails. I love the design detail of the stone clad countertops, which is something that is recapitulated as we explore the kitchen. One of my favorite things about this home is the kitchen. It is epic in scale. I love the details. This is Calcutta gold marble. I love the oak cabinetry. I love the commercial grade Viking stove with 10 burners. And then continuing with the theme of commercial kitchen, we have these commercial grade fridge freezer combination. It's magnificent. We have not one, not two, but three butler's pantries. You could easily have 50 to 100 people for Thanksgiving, for New Year, for any kind of celebration. We then cascade into this informal living room. So this whole area becomes where at parties, people are gonna hang out because off of the informal living room, we have the swimming pool and the outdoor activities such as the barbecue, etc. Lastly, which I think is genius, in this ensemble of this part of the home, we have a little speakeasy, which can be sealed off. It is a games room and it is a bar. And late at night, the cigars will come out the drinks will be filled, and many a story will be told in here, right by the fireplace. I just wanna say a big bravo to the design team for this ensemble. The whole house is magnificent, but this is so well thought out. It's just truly perfect. Of course, every home of this stature must have a private cinema. And this one is breathtaking. Larger than the usual size of screening room I encounter, this one has higher ceilings, more width, and feels more like a legitimate cinema. This is somewhere that I would come and enjoy some of my favorite movies time and time again. After the show, 
the owner could partake in some of their fabulous private wine collection. I estimate this room will hold about 600 bottles. And there is a wonderful aroma coming from the hand-built oak wine racks. As we leave the wine room, we head toward the exterior, but we have one last destination on this floor, which is this magnificent formal office. Again, floor to ceiling windows flood with light. And I love that there is a fireplace at the rear of the room. Just off of the reception areas to welcome guests or business associates, this is a beautiful room to close deals, make phone calls, or just plan the rest of your year. It's a very special moment. As I leave the ground floor of this wonderful home, I'm met by the first of the exterior experiences. One thing I note is the walls are clad with this brick facade and they're framed by this wonderful Ipe deck, giving a distinct East Coast flavor as I walk through the exterior dining room that can easily seat 10 or 12 people. We then traverse into the outdoor living room, which is off of the main rooms we explored earlier. It's simply breathtaking to gaze across these park-like grounds, which are framed so perfectly by the oversized pool. The pool deck itself is constructed of the most beautiful limestone, and the pool, of course, has a multi-person hot tub built in. As I head south along the pool deck, it brings me to my favorite place on the entire property, a place where I can take it all in and enjoy the architecture and the grounds. The outdoor kitchen, once again, is commercial grade, with everything you could need for exterior cooking, including an oversized professional grill. And once dinner is ready, I can't think of a more perfect spot to enjoy the exterior of the property. We are at one of my favorite points in any tour, and that is the exterior. I'm in the backyard, but this is no ordinary backyard. I'm in the Pacific Palisades, Rustic Canyon to be precise, which is some of the most expensive real estate in California. And here I have a flat acre. It is manicured, it is landscaped, it's practically park-like and framed perfectly with this 15,000 square foot plus Hamptons-esque brand new build. This has to be one of the best family houses that I've seen on the west side of Los Angeles, frankly in Los Angeles as a whole for a long time. And you know what? I'm going to enjoy the garden as well. So I'm going to turn around and just breathe it all in. The grounds are extensive, highly unusual in this incredibly expensive part of Los Angeles to have so much square footage that is usable and flat. This has to be one of the attributes to this home that I find the most breathtaking. Our journey continues as we head up to the second level of the home. The floors are all clad in wide plank oak throughout, giving this property a wonderful organic texture. The natural light streams in from all angles, giving this property a light, airy, yet luxurious feel. Next up, we have the owner's opulent suite. This room is simply breathtaking. The volume is the thing that strikes me immediately and of course flooded once more with natural light. Pampered with designer details such as this wonderful chandelier and my favorite part of the room, a hand-carved marble fireplace. One can't help but be drawn outside through the oversized pocket doors onto this expansive private terrace reserved only for the master suite giving you an opportunity to gaze across your park-like grounds and to soak in the beauty of this property. And now we head to the owner's suite, bathroom and closets. So one of my absolute favorite things in life is espresso. I drink it by the gallon way too much. And I have always wanted my own espresso bar just off of my bedroom, in fact, it's no more than 10 feet from where I would be sleeping. 
I wake up, and this is a beautiful, a beautiful espresso machine. Wake up, pop a couple, the day starts just right. The day is a beautiful day. Cheers. We continue down a discreet and private corridor that leads us into the owner's suite bathroom. I particularly love this statuesque marble clad vanity and all of the details and accoutrement that this bathroom has to offer, including this gorgeous cast iron tub and of course, an extremely oversized shower for extra luxury. Dual shower heads and also dual entrance into the steam shower for convenience. An additional statuesque marble clad vanity rounds out the perfect luxury bathroom ensemble. Which leads us to the closets. Everything in this room is custom cabinetry. The details are simply magnificent, as is the central island which frames the entire room, which is again flooded by natural light. And if you need additional closet space, there is a secondary closet to store all of your accessories and additional items of clothing. The next moment is incredibly sweet, as it is a dedicated area for the children to create, to play, and to make art. Now we head to the auxiliary bedrooms. Each one of the bedrooms has a completely unique flavor. All of the bathrooms are en suite, of course. And the overarching palette for the additional bedrooms is one of earth tones. Playing off of the oak floors, we find a gentle palette of soft grays, which again work perfectly with the Carrera marble, which is featured in this bathroom. A similar motif is continued through the other bedrooms until we reach this last guest room, which has an added bonus of its own private terrace, just like the owner's suite, which is a very special moment. This completes the tour of the upper level of the main house. We now exit through this simply divine mud room. I just love these old fashioned hooks, the light fixtures and the cabinetry. Simply divine, as this leads me to the motor court. So one thing that is absolutely worth mentioning because LA is a city of people in their cars is at this property I have parking for an enormous amount of cars. I've got garage parking for one, two, three, four, five, six. I also have a wonderful carriage house as a guest house. But on the exterior of this phenomenal home, I have parking for another 12. So all in all, I can fit almost 20 cars in here, no problem. That is highly unusual and makes this house even more appealing. Last but not least is the carriage house. Grand in stature and carrying the same details as the main home. We enter the carriage house through this generously proportioned living room with more than enough room for multiple guests. Your guests could be short term or long term. This is a completely separate structure that feels just like a standalone house. As we enter the second level of the carriage house, we're greeted by this charming family room, which is tucked neatly next to a more than ample kitchen with all the accoutrement and natural stone countertops. Any guest would be thrilled to have such amenities. Just outside the kitchen is an adorable bistro table. And now we head to a completely separate bedroom. The bedroom is large, larger than most bedrooms in a regular home. Once again, flooded with that wonderful natural light that is such a motif of this property. The bathroom spares no expense. Again, natural stone countertops, beautiful gray earth tone palette, and a gorgeous standalone soaking tub. And for those that prefer, 
there is a dedicated steam shower only for the carriage house. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey through this wonderful Hamptons-esque estate located here in Rustic Canyon in the Pacific Palisades on the west side of LA. This has been an incredible journey for me. And if you've liked it, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or even a comment. And this is Pete Lorimer wishing you well until I see you at the next wonderful property. Till then, toodaloo.